welcome back to another vlog. We are starting in the car because, well, you know I'm always behind, but Charlie did go back to work today, so I had to have to get back into the swing of things. You know, he's normally been the one loading the car up, and then I don't have to, like, fool with the animals and stuff, but I had to do all of that today, so um, it was fine. I did have to clean up a little pee spot. Sophie peed in the kitchen, or at least I think it was her. Uh, so I was going to do like an outfit of the day, but I can just do that here in the car because I am just wearing this little blue, like sleeveless top with a black sweater. It is like a cool and rainy here this morning. Well, I don't guess it's cool. It says it's 79 degrees, but, um, I know I will be freezing at work. It is always freezing at work. It's ridiculously cold. I don't know why. I actually have a heater in my office and so I pretty much turn it on whenever I get there and I don't really like let it blow directly on me I just kind of let it warm up my room so it's always like nice and toasty in there but if I get up to go to the copier or to go to the bathroom or whatever it is a freezing and yeah anyway so today is Monday today's always my busiest day and then next week of course we leave saturday for vacation which i'm super excited and also a little anxious about that this week so probably most evenings i will be doing things to prepare for vacation we did pull out our suitcases to see what we were going to take and have this one like really huge suitcase it's ugly it's like a plaid color uh, but i think that we picked it up one time because it was cheap and it was large and so we're gonna take that one that one's gonna be what I put most of my stuff in and then I have like a little bit of a smaller purple bag that I will take for our swim bag and everything dang it my battery is flashing I can't believe it I should have put a fresh battery in anywho um well I don't really have much else to say today I hopefully will have enough battery to see y'all at lunch I'm gonna go ahead and sign off now and then I will see y'all at lunchtime that way I have a little bit of battery left and then hopefully I can charge up tomorrow bye for now hey guys so this is editing Jennifer jumping in here in the middle of this weekly vlog along with Charlie cheers yes. So we are on vacation in Florida and this is, um, I'm jumping in here after the first scene of the weekly vlog that you just uh, saw, which was probably just a couple of minutes worth of me in the car on Monday morning talking and then all of my other clips have no audio, which is kind of like a YouTuber's nightmare. So I always film my whole week of, you know, all of my days and everything. And then on Sunday night, I will get all the clips off and pull it together, do my editing, all of that stuff. So last night we get back in here and that's what I'm doing. I pull in all of my clips. I pull in my very first one, kind of listen to it. I pull in my second one. I was like, oh, there's no sound on this. And so then that panic starts to set in. So I look at the rest of them, no sound on any of them. And even on the first couple of clips of our travel vlog, there's no sound. So whenever we had to pack up to go to the airport, Charlie like took all of the cameras and everything apart and packed them up in our camera bag because we were gonna do that as one of our carry-on bags. And my little white camera, if I can reach it. This little white camera is my little vlogging camera and it always has this microphone on top of it. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know how far away we are. But anyway, um, it has this little cord that attaches to the side, one of the sides. And so whenever we got to the airport, he had already taken it apart and I did pull it out at one point and I was like, oh, I'm not going to fully put the microphone back on. So I just, you know, did a little clip and everything while we were sitting there waiting to board the plane. And then whenever we got here, I was like, you know, I said, I guess go ahead and give me the microphone, but I may take it off if I put it in my purse because I brought like this small little bag. And whenever he hands it to me, this piece here, the little end, it should have the same little end. See, this one should be the same on this side. Well, this little piece was sticking in the camera, but this was detached. So somehow or another, probably throwing it in my purse and everything, 
it had broken that Monday after I did that first clip and I had no idea. So everything that I filmed, which is super irritating, from that point on has zero audio to it. So I wasn't gonna not give y'all a weekly vlog video. Um, well, I guess this isn't gonna be a real weekly vlog. We we're just gonna kinda do our meal prep review. You know, I may throw in a few clips here and there of showing us eating our dinner and trying the cheesecake and the things like that. But um, for the most part, this is just gonna kinda be a weekly uh, a recap, if you may, because all I can do at this point is either chuck it and not do a video. I mean, I could try to do a voiceover over it, but and just kind of say, oh, this is probably what I'm talking about. But y'all know how I carry on. I mean, especially like those two or three car chats that end up in there. I mean, I'm talking all kinds of nonsense in most of them. You know, I'm just whatever's floating through my head is kind of what's coming out my mouth while I'm on my way to work. So I'm pretty sure that most of my car chats were discussing getting ready for vacation, getting ready to come down here to South Florida because every day I had something on my mind. You know, I had to like get my nails done one night. I had to, um, which I'll throw that little clip in here. I did get my nails done. Um, one of them messed up the day that we were leaving, so that's kind of irritating. That's one reason I don't like to pay to get my nails done anymore. Uh, but I did get my nails done one night, and then I can't remember the rest of the days, you know, what my little car chats were about. But uh, pretty much just going on and on about vacation, what all I had to do, packing, cleaning people were coming. Anything else interesting happen? No. Mm-mm. I mean, Charlie went back to work last week, and he was off for two weeks, worked one week, and then was on vacation this week, which he was super happy about because they're going on overtime this week while he's uh, taking vacation. Um, although I'm never mad whenever he gets some overtime, if y'all know what I mean. But anyway, that kind of sums up the week, was really just us prepping for vacation every evening. There were no evening workouts. I had to run some errands. I had to like run to Dillard's one night and get some toner. I had to stop at Walmart. Um, I pretty much ended the vlog early. I ended it on Friday morning on my little car chat in because I knew that I just had so much on my mind and so much to do. And so I did kind of end that one early, which I thought, oh, well, this is going to be a shorter vlog anyway, but it still has no audio. So y'all missed like you know, 45 minutes of me just talking my nonsense that I normally do. I'm sure a lot of you may not be disappointed in that. <laughs> Charlie's used to it. Y'all know he just sits here and uh, listens to me and makes his faces or whatever he does, whenever uh, I'm not looking at him. But anyway, so to do the weekly recap. So what we cooked last week was Kung Pao chicken with the fried rice, the cauliflower fried rice, and the stir fry veggies, which were different stir fry veggies than we normally use just because Kroger messed up our order. They did a substitution. He told them to take it off anyway. We'll get to that in a minute. And then the, ne the next recipe was the skinny taste ground turkey skillet with um, black beans, corn, and zucchini in it. And I made some of the, uh, I made some of the seasoned rice and we had a cup of that because everything else in the bowl was zero points. So those were the two meals for the week. And then we also made a zero point on the blue and purple plan cheesecake from Slapdash Mom. And I was super excited to try both of the new recipes. You know, I've kind of been getting a little burnout on the cookies, so I may try to switch it up a little bit, you know, and try some different desserts here and there. And I saw Zero Point Cheesecake, and so we're just going to go ahead and talk about the cheesecake first, then we'll talk about the meals. Um, so I was super excited to see the cheesecake recipe, and I thought Zero Points, that's it. That's the one we're going to make. It was so easy. It was literally just three cups of the non-fat plain Greek yogurt, three eggs, I think, a splash of vanilla. Um, was there anything else in there? Oh, the cheesecake, the sugar-free jello cheesecake pudding mix. 
mix it all together, bake it in the oven for 30 minutes, and then you're supposed to let it set in the refrigerator overnight. So whenever you watch the meal prep video, it looks great. And I had a lot of people commenting on there that they were gonna go ahead and make the cheesecake. So I did pin a comment on that video, and I hope that y'all always look at like my pinned comments because if something kinda goes wrong, I do wanna let you know before you go out and buy the stuff or whatever. And some people have liked the recipe. Some people commented that they've made it several times and that they liked it. But whenever we tried it, which I was super excited, so Monday night, and I'm going to show my little clip here. I'll probably lay it over this with me talking. Um, we were excited to try the cheesecake. The center of it was good. It had a good flavor. It tasted like cheesecake, or at least it did to me. Mm -hmm. Did it to you? But the outside edges of it had a weird texture. And after I thought about that weird texture, it almost seemed like it was curdled. That's the only way that I can really describe it. How would you describe it? Curdled is the only thing I think of. Yeah. Um, so it was, it was a good flavor, but I just couldn't bring myself to eat it again because of that texture. And I don't know if I overcooked it, if I undercooked it, because it said to cook it for 30 minutes. But I ended up cooking it for... 35 minutes. 35 minutes? Yeah. So, because I was afraid that the center of it was not um, set, which by the way, we have some cheese and crackers here to go with our wine. We are going to dinner tonight, uh, but we are just gonna have a little cheese and wine before we leave because I wanna go hit up TJ Maxx and Marshalls. I'm looking for some shoes specifically, and then we will figure out what we're gonna go for dinner. I kinda just went off on a tangent there, talking about cheesecake and then suddenly dinner. I just noticed my cheese plate up there. Um, but anyway, uh, so yeah, so Tuesday night, whenever I came home, I was like, I'm not gonna eat any more of the cheesecake. And it sat in the refrigerator until, I think Wednesday, and finally I told Charlie, just go ahead and throw it out because I'm not gonna eat it. It's just sitting there. And we only cut it into like six, large slices so it was really like two-thirds of it that didn't get eaten and I really hate to throw food away I really do push it I feel like don't you on a lot of the foods that I eat like a lot of people ask you know how does everything stay fresh and sometimes it's not the freshest come the end of the week but if it's not bad I will still go ahead and eat it you know because I'm not gonna waste the food and that's one thing that I've really enjoyed about the whole meal prep process is I basically buy, for the most part, what I need just to make my meals and my dessert for that week. And then, you know, I'll buy like the stuff extra, like for our lunches, things that he wants. And then, you know, I have my favorites, like my great crystal light, you know, my pizza sauce, things like that, that we always like to have on hand. And then those are kind of what I add in. So my grocery hauls are all pretty much the same. And then plus whatever items we need just for our meals for that week. And I have really been working hard on trying to use up stuff out of the freezer as well just to avoid any kind of food waste. You know, we always have chicken breasts left over. Once we get like three or four like saved chicken breasts, I usually like to use those to make like taco soup or something like that, you know, where I'm gonna cook it in the crock pot and not necessarily need fresh chicken breast. Um, so we try not to throw anything away, if at all possible. But we threw out that cheesecake because of those curdled edges. And um, I will try another cheesecake recipe. And if y'all tried one that has turned out good, then you can leave it down in the comments below and let me know because I was really looking forward to having that cheesecake and it just did not meet my craving that I was having for cheesecake. So anyway, um, I definitely need another one to try. And I don't know, I don't know if I did something wrong or if it was just that recipe or what. Anywho, I've never, ever, ever made a cheesecake in my whole life. Not even a normal cheesecake. If I've had cheesecake, it's been store-bought or at a restaurant. So, have you ever made a cheesecake? I made a no-bake one time. A no-bake cheesecake. And maybe that's what I need. He thought that this was a no-bake cheesecake. Um, that's when you just mix it and let it sit in the refrigerator or something. Mm -hmm. I don't know. And maybe that's what kind of messed this one up. He thought this was a no-bake and I was like, no, I baked it for 30 minutes, 35 minutes. I don't know if there's like a WW friendly no-bake cheesecake recipe out there, but maybe that's something I could try because I feel like baking it, the edges is what got so weird. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, that no-bake I did the time, you just blended it up, pour it in a pie shell, and put it in the refrigerator. And this had no pie shell at all. This was just cheesecake. And that could be a problem with trying like a no-bake on a WW recipe. 
It's like a graham cracker crust shell. Yeah. And you know, I could even try to do like some of the low fat graham crackers and crush them up and make my own shell. You know, I can use some of my butter spray and mix in there with it at zero points and pat it around in the pan and make a crust or something. So maybe I'll do that. That sounds kind of fun. But anyway, enough about the cheesecake. It was a fail, a big fail, and we were super disappointed with it. Uh, the Kung Pao chicken and the fried rice, of course, that is one of our favorites. That is always in our rotation. You know, we like monthly, I kind of want that Asian meal. We love those Chung's um, spring rolls and those Thai Pie pot stickers with it. It's a good hearty meal. Now, those stir fry vegetables that Kroger gave us, I didn't really like them, did you? I mean, we ate it. But it had like a lot of weird like beans and stuff in it. So, and that's something that I'm not used to. Did you notice all the beans in it? I don't know. It's like a Fiesta blend, which I just went ahead and used it. Um, just because, and I had some, uh, an old, old bag of like mixed vegetables, like just the peas and corn and carrots, like diced up in the little pieces that I found in the freezer that really had like a lot of ice on it. And so we went ahead and used that as well, which I'm glad I mixed that in there with it just to give us a different, I don't know, but it was not the same. The best stir fry vegetables, in my opinion, is the Walmart broccoli stir fry. And I love to get those. Two bags of those makes the best, in my opinion. Or really, you could just use, you know, like broccoli, cauliflower, almost like one of those California blend or Normandy blends um, would have been better than that Fiesta blend. But, I mean, we ate it. It was fine. It really wasn't a big deal. It wasn't like we threw our food out because of it. We both still ate it. But it was just kind of like, meh, I miss my other stir fry. Um, so, you know, we don't go to Walmart a whole lot for groceries and... I like to do like a Walmart run like once a month. And that is the only place that I can find that um, Kung Pao sauce though. Kroger or Publix, neither one of those sells it. So we always have to go to Walmart to get the Kung Pao sauce and we are completely out. So like the next time I go to Walmart, I'm gonna try to keep it in the back of my mind. You know, I need to get those items because they will stay in the freezer in the camp cabinet or whatever. It'll be fine if it's unopened that Kung Pao sauce for quite a while. Um, but that one is always a winner if you're wanting to try a recipe. It comes out to two points on the blue plan for the fried rice and the uh, chicken, the Kung Pao sauce, and the vegetables, all of that. Now, the spring rolls, I think, are three points for one of them, and the Thai Pie pot stickers are three points for those two. Um, and the spring roll does include in that points value the little sauce packet and I do like the sauce packet That's I kind of put that on the pot stickers and that it's kind of a little sweet sauce So I use one of those packets and squeeze it on there. What do you do on yours? Soy, soy sauce. Okay, so Charlie just dips his in soy sauce, but I like that little bit of sweetness, you know added to mine um, So Kung Pao chicken can't go wrong with that and then the new recipe that we tried was from Skinny Taste. It was a ground turkey skillet is what it was called. I can't, it has a long name, which I haven't linked in that meal prep video. Uh, it's a ground turkey skillet with black beans, corn, and zucchini. Um, and it also had tomatoes in it. I put some lime in it. It had some cilantro in it. It had, um, God, I can't even remember now. You'd have to go back and watch the video, but anywho, I was worried that it would be a little bland and that it might need some sauce, but overall, I thought that it was nice and spicy. I thought that it had a good flavor. They're pretty little spice too. Yeah, and I mean, could it have used a sauce? Possibly, but it was fine without it. I don't really know what sauce you could use on that. That would be like a low point WW sauce. But anyway, overall, it was good. I thought that it was good and spicy. It had like two tomatoes that we chopped up in there. Um, you know, a lot of zucchini. It was a nice filling. And I'm all about that volume with those zero point foods to fill us up. And we both could barely finish our bowl. Plus we had a whole cup of rice, that seasoned rice. And I really love that. I mean, the only seasoning in that rice is like poultry seasoning and um, pepper. That's what kind of gives it that spice is that black pepper in there and I think that really is good and gives the rice a little bit more flavor and then some chicken broth um, but I've just been making it in the rice cooker just like I always do. I did use up some frozen rice that I had saved from the last time so I made a little bit of a smaller portion and that worked out to where we both perfectly had a cup of rice 
And anything else to add for the week? Charlie has a lot to say, doesn't he? <laughs> hmm? <laughs> nope. He's like, I want to eat my cheese and crackers. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you? Is it time to eat cheese and crackers? I tell you, make us some cheese and cracker plate. And then I was like, but you actually can't eat the cheese and crackers <laughs> while we're filming. <laughs> so it's like torture because his plate's sitting right here in front of him, which he did good. Um, he's uh, took one bite, I think. <laughs> I caught him. I saw him out of the corner of my eye. I didn't say anything. <laughs> one thing, I know a lot of people, a lot of people don't mind watching people eat and chew food. And some people, you know, cannot stand it. And so I try not to, especially like let somebody hear the sound of me eating. So I knew that I would be the one sitting here talking for 15 or 20 minutes or however long this ends up to be. And then he would be sitting here quiet, but I didn't want him sitting here, you know, the whole time that I was talking. So that's why I told him that he couldn't eat. Um, but anywho, I apologize profusely for the audio problem. That is a lesson learned on my part because I really just take it for granted. I mean, I filmed that all week and I never look at that footage until Sunday night, kind of after we finish our meal prep. That's kind of my process, you know, I film all day on Sundays doing the meal prep. Well, then I take all of my stuff and dump it and to my three folders. I basically make three folders because I'm going to have my grocery haul video, my meal prep video, and my uh, what I eat in a week weekly vlog video, which is what this is kind of replacing. Um, and so on Sunday nights, I kind of dump everything, organize everything, and usually go ahead and start on that weekly vlog because that's the first one coming up on Tuesday. So I have to get it edited and it's always the longest video, which, you know, I pretty much sit there and listen to myself talk the whole time. And, you know, it's not a whole lot of editing. Sometimes there are a lot of long pauses or whatever. This video that y'all are going to see right now is not really going to be edited that much because we're filming this and then this is going to have to go up. Um, I need to get it ready tonight to go up tomorrow so that it will be on time. And I am trying to stick to my schedule. Um, after this video, my next video is probably going to be just a get ready with me video. And then I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do for Sunday's video yet. If that's going to be our travel vlog. Um, I really don't know how much footage I've gotten while we've been down here. Luckily, um, there's only like two clips that was done without the volume. One of them was kind of like an intro that I did uh, before we left the house. And then we vlogged a little bit in the car on the way to uh, park the car just for like five minutes. Charlie couldn't hold the camera that long. He was basically waiting for me to shut up the whole time. <laughs> and then once we got to park the car, that's when he kind of took that white camera apart and took the cord out of it, you know, took the microphone off so that he could pack it in there because, you know, we kind of park at this place. They drive you to the airport and drop you off. And so we wanted to have everything packed nicely because that was going to be one of his carry on bags was the camera bag. And, um, then we realized once we got here that it was broken, but it never crossed my mind. Like I actually thought that it had broken like when he took it off, you know, so it never crossed my mind that it had broken on Monday last week and that I literally was vlogging all week long and it's all silent. There's no sound whatsoever. And so that is a lesson learned. Uh, more than likely, if my audio still sounds good on this camera, because this is a camera, once I got it, we got that little um, microphone and I love this little camera, but I'm sure it broke because I throw it in my purse. Y'all know that big black purse that I carry all the time that I did not bring on vacation with me. And so it's probably like bending the cord and you know, that kind of sticks up, it's bulky. This is much smaller and can fit in my purse a lot easier. Um, so I don't know if I'll put the microphone back on it or not. Uh, Charlie thinks that we can just go somewhere and get another one of these cords because what kind of cord is this? Just a little audio cord. Okay, so he says it's just a little audio cord. So if we can find one, then um, we'll see if the microphone still works. I mean, the microphone itself was only like, $27. Yeah, but I was going to order another one so that we had two of them. One for the big camera and one for the little camera, but the price had went up. 
I don't know if y'all see that on Amazon sometimes. If you look at something or if you order something and then you go to buy it again, it's a higher price than what it was. Um, so anyway, I almost need a pillow. I don't have anything behind my back. Charlie's got a pillow behind his back. Anyway, we will go ahead and uh, close out. I'm sorry that y'all missed all of my talking in the car, all of those car chats, all of that stuff. Charlie really misses it too, don't you? I do, so, so much. <laughs> He's always like, please, my God, how much longer can you talk? I can keep going. I mean, we could just jump onto another subject at this point, but we're not because we're gonna have our little cheese and wine and then we're going to go do a little shopping and then figure out where we're going to go for dinner tonight. Um, we just had like beers and burgers last night for dinner. Yeah. And it was really good. And they've got all these restaurants and little shops right here close to the condo that was not here years ago. Or the last time that we were here, maybe some of it was in construction. Um, but we do come down here a lot. Of some friends of ours own this condo and let us use it whenever we need to occasionally as long as nobody else is using it so um if you haven't already go ahead subscribe to my channel click that subscribe button down below and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any of my uploads and also follow me over on instagram i'll leave my instagram handle for you here and also join that facebook group we have a really good facebook group i'm one of the admins on it so it's roy with recipes with roy and brie at balancing life with brie and there is a direct link down in my description box to that Facebook group. This is what the icon looks like to it if you want to search it. If you have any trouble, you can always send me a message. Somebody did that the other day. They couldn't find it. And I sent them the link and then they got in the Facebook group. So I highly suggest if you are on Facebook, go ahead and join that too because it's a really good group. Everybody's very interactive in there and lots of tips and ideas. And, um, you know, it's a, good, it's a good forum, you know, if you have questions to ask or whatever. And without further ado... We will close out so Charlie can eat these cheese and crackers. Look, he's, he's picking up his plate. He's going for it. You can go for it at this point, I guess. But bye, guys. I love you. Thank you. I'm so sorry that you didn't get like a full hour of weekly vlog footage, but I think I've talked at least a half hour. So I hope that makes up for it. I love you. So I will try to make sure to check my audio a little bit here and there. Um... <laughs> Bye guys. I will uh chat with y'all later.